Dear Minister, I was listening to your national budget presentation the other day, and I got to say, my heart leaped with joy and hope. A smile widened on my face and my eyes brightened the room in which I was. And I felt proud, like what a time to be a Zambian. And then it dawned on me that I have heard such beautiful words before. I have witnessed such promises made overtly, but I cannot say that I remember much about their accountable implementation. I realized that this message, just like those of old, came from politicians. The same people skilled enough to sell you your own pen and then subtract tax. I questioned myself that isn't Zambia already at least 51.6 billion kwacha in debt? And so wouldn't the 42% budget financing only further increase the debt to about 73.2 billion kwacha? It seemed to me like trying to resolve a wrong with a wrong in hopes of making a right, but I have never really been good with math, so I could be wrong. But dear minister, you should have seen my heart leap with joy when I heard about free education and what it meant for my daughter. But wasn't the 2020 budget allocation to the education sector 11.5% with all the PTA and tuitions and all other income generating plans still in place? So I asked myself how it could be effectively implemented on a 10.4% allocation this time. Now don't get me wrong dear minister, I love the idea. I thought it philanthropic even, but I just seek that implementation plans could be made more clear for my siblings and parents in the rural areas too. I loved the budget, especially that part about CDF allocation. But I have to ask, see it is my job as a citizen to inquire and know, so would you kindly give us a detailed explanation on the planned usage of the debt and who will be responsible for the CDF application in order to ensure accountability to all Zambians? Is there a plan to make sure that the CDF committee is not controlled by the MP via the number of nominations that they make? I mean what really is the plan? Will WDCs be trained in public finance management or is it just another job on training when dealing with public finances? Dear Minister, your sincere Zambian youth, King. Ah.